Okay, Vals passes lateralis. So we're going to use our reference structure of sartorius tendon right there. Great, coming off the ASIS. Just lateral to that is going to be rectus femoris. Okay, holding the leg. You can see it pulp. And then as we get more lateral, okay, we're going to get into the epimesial groove that dis differentiates the rectus femoris from the vastus lateralis. And crawling down the lateral leg with the fingertips, never leaving the tissue. And then going back and forth against the fibers for confirmation of the epimesial grooves as you get more distal, closer to the knee joint. As you get closer to the knee joint, you're going to run into that mild tendinous junction where you're going to run into a lot of connective tissue. Okay. As we get more lateral, we're going to get more epimesial space in the, as you get into the dense band of the IT band. Here's how we're going to do it. Let's go sideline. Okay, looking at the epimesial space in front. Now having the patient sideline. Of the okay, so still perpendicular here. to the fiber. I'm just going to place it like so. And then okay. placing the closing hand. Yes, and now I'm going to do alternate between resisted extension, which would activate the. Okay, so now that we've palpated the tissue, really what resisted we're going into is looking at the mechanical the adverse tissue and I'm tension. I'm going to try to find the dead space in between both of those two. By palpating the parallel to the fibers. Epimesial space between okay. the back side of the maxis lateralis. You'll notice that the epimesial the space okay. on the back side will so differentiate the vastus lateralis from function. the biceps femoris. I'll feel contraction of the Notice hip. that with the distal Good. hand, you can uh, bias no, the patient into either knee flexion and or resisted knee extension to further differentiate the palpable tissue fibers of the vastus lateralis and the hamstrings. Now I'm just flexion in about then. Okay, so biasing into flexion and or knee extension will allow you to continue to differentiate the proper epimesial grooves as you work down the limb. Just so you guys understand, this is the iliopole lateral quadriceps. Notice that this, right. the, the thickness of the vastus lateralis, and then you have oh, about wait, two to three inches, depending the on the anthropometric lateral. measurements oh, of yeah. your patient, this is the position are that hidden behind the IT band. Really now I can come onto the front side, so the more anterior thigh side. Make sure that I'm in the fiber orientation. Okay, still in the fiber orientation because now we're assessing mechanical okay. tissue tension rather than On just the palpating the muscle. We've now already palpated and we, we're confirmatory that we're there through our contraction right and our relaxation space. techniques. Okay, same thing. Once again, we're we using multiple fun. pads of fingertips in order to identify non-uniform tension within the muscle fibers. Here is an important one because it's between the front of the thigh and the back of the thigh. 